Good morning and welcome back to Mac in the Morning on the Michigan Conservative Roundtable. Thanks to all of our new subscribers, everybody helping us out. We really appreciate it spreading this uh, conservative message on this Patriot channel. Thanks again. So today's topic is going to be about voting like your life depends upon it. And I encourage each and every one of you to sw try to sway as many voters as you can. If people need rides to the poll, help them out. Do just anything you can. I volunteered to be an election poll worker so we can keep an eye on those rascally Democrats. Uh, we'll see if they use me or not, and I'll report that on this channel. So, we already know they're cheating like hell. In Michigan, they're mailing everyone a ballot. Some people are getting multiple ballots, and they have no checks in place for my receiving a ballot, which I did and I won't use. I didn't ask for it. They just sent it. And there's nothing stopping me from filling it out, uh, mailing it in, having it get counted, and then going to the polls and voting again. So essentially I would be able to vol uh, vote multiple times. Now if they've sent them to my past address, which I heard one man got one from an address he lived at nine years earlier, so he has multiples, he could mail those in, he could go and vote, and that would be at least three votes. You see, how, we'll see what the trap is? And this was set up with the uh, fake pandemic. Uh, there's a virus. The virus is real. I get it. And some people have died. Uh, CDC says 94% of the numbers are not COVID deaths. But uh, the mainstream media continues to report 200,000, even though they know it's closer to 12. That said, they're on their way to cheating. Now, they've made a number of threats. If Trump makes a Supreme Court justice pick, they're going to burn down the country. If uh, they get elected, or when they get elected eventually, because they will eventually, they're going to stack the court. This is nothing new to Democrats. Franklin Roosevelt tried it way back in the day. He wanted 16 support Supreme Court justices so he could get everything he wanted, because that's how Dem Democrats operate. They take everything to court, and eventually it runs to the Supreme Court where they will get the decision that they want from a handpicked of people who a hand a group of handpicked people who will run the country uh, all in all uh, the Democrats are going to take your guns first chance they get they want them so bad they don't know what to do now you gotta ask yourself this question why do they want them so bad well that's going to be a topic for tomorrow's video how they are going to get your guns and I know a lot of you are out there saying they'll never get my gun I'll have I'll fight to the death well hang on to that thought for tomorrow uh, they promised to punish us. Kamala Harris said they're going to hunt us down, us Trump supporters, and they're going to punish us for our uh, wrongdoing and our fascism. Um, they continue their violence. They just make threat after threat after threat with violence. That's how they operate. Um, if Joe Biden gets into the White House, or essentially Kamala Harris gets into the White House, they are going to jack your taxes up so high you won't even be able to believe it. Uh, the AOCs of the world would like a 90% tax. Bernie Sanders is another one. So imagine going to work, working hard, doing everything you can to advance, and then giving nine of every $10 you make away to someone else. I don't know how people could vote that. In fact, I don't know how any rational thinking person could vote for Joe Biden. I know why some won't, because they're so full of hate and rage against President Trump that they'll go out and vote for Joe Biden to teach him a lesson. Well, it'll, be your, it'll be your lesson that gets learned. And lastly, I'll just throw this out. Vote like your grandchildren and your children's lives depend upon it, because they very well might. A whole lot of people are going to have to go. Those who, like myself, who will never cooperate, no matter what they do. I've only got one life, and it's mostly over, so I'm game. But for my grandchildren, it's a different story, and for your grandchildren, too. If you want them to not know what sex they are, if you want them to think that communism is, is, communism is better than freedom, you just go ahead and vote for Joe. But if you don't, get somebody to go to the polls with you and vote red like crazy. As we like to say on the Michigan Conservative Roundtable, be safe, watch your six, and don't tread on me.